What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified, three belt, WBA, WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five pound for pound best fighters in the world. And Earl the True Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. has 28 wins, no losses, no draws, 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 32 years of age, five foot nine with a 72 inch armies. With that said, uh, there was some news that came out yesterday with legendary retired Hall of Fame, iconic superstar boxer, the man known as Money, Floyd Mayweather Jr., 50 and 0. Uh, retired 50 wins, no losses, no draws, 27 big wins by way of knockout, uh, five for eight with a 72 inch homage. With that said, um, a close friend, trainer, and uh, uh, former fighter, an Olympic bronze medalist, the only bronze medalist to be to medal out of Chicago, okay, being a uh, heavyweight title contender, pad man and uh, um, former boxer, and Nate Jones. Nate Jones, he came out, he have a channel, Nate Jones came out and he stated that the um, the, the highly talked about uh, uh, glorified sparring session between Errol Spence and Floyd Mayweather, okay? Nate Jones was there, Nate Jones gave his take, Nate Jones broke down what he believed, what he saw that took place, okay? And uh, Nate Jones, he stated that, uh, uh, he stated that it was a good sparring session. Uh, he stated that Errol Spence got off on, um, Errol Spence definitely got off on uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather. He said he got his attention and hit him with big clean shots at times. Um, but he stated that that uh, Floyd Mayweather sat down. He told Floyd Mayweather to stop backing up, uh, uh, stop giving Errol Spence confidence. You know, he said he jumped on the, on the, on the apron and he yelled at Floyd to stop stop backing up, stop giving him confidence. You're giving him confidence when you do that. You know, uh, go forward, stand stand in the pocket, uh, um, and uh, uh, he's, he's open down the middle. And then he said that Floyd Mayweather eventually clipped uh, uh, Errol Spence with the uppercut on the inside, and uh, it buckled Errol Spence. So now, the reports initially, when we heard about this sparring session was we knew uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather had a black eye and it was widely uh, uh, reported and talked about that Errol Spence was the one that gave Floyd Mayweather the black eye, okay? And then, you know, uh, it was reported that Floyd Mayweather Sr., he kicked Errol Spence out the gym. I believe this was for the, the fight with Robert Guerrero, if I'm not mistaken, okay? I think it was around that time for Robert Guerrero fight and Robert Guerrero is a southpaw. So Nate Jones said we brought Errol Spence in because Errol Spence is a southpaw to help us prepare for a southpaw, right? And he stated that, you know, many people uh, stated that Errol Spence got the best of Floyd, uh, uh, you know, uh, and was giving Floyd a lot of work. Errol Spence even stated that after, they, he, he talked about the sparring session and he stated that after uh, um, the initial sparring session, he got out the ring and Floyd Mayweather responded and said, you pretty good for a B. And Earl Spence said, what? He said, yeah, you pretty good for a B. And, uh, 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 but you need to get back in here. Earl Spence said, he told everybody, man, go get my stuff. And they got back in the ring, they, clucked, they cut the clock off and they went at it, right? That's what Earl Spence stated. Then they cut the clock off and they went at it, right? Uh, Floyd Mayweather was asked about this to which Floyd Mayweather, he stated that you know, uh, um, it was good work uh, uh, that Errol Spence is a good fighter. And he knew how good of a fighter Errol Spence is, hence the reason why he was pushing Errol Spence off on Keith Thurman when Keith Thurman was calling out Floyd Mayweather, right? Um, again, like I said, Errol Spence is very durable. We've seen Errol Spence only hurt badly one time in his career, and that was the, the latte fight, okay? Um, we never seen Earl Spence buckle, never seen Earl Spence on the canvas, never seen him hurt badly. Um, and Floyd Mayweather, again, like I said, Floyd Mayweather is not known to be a big puncher. Now, uh, again, Floyd Mayweather, when he fights in uh, uh, sparring sessions, is a completely different fighter. I've heard that on numerous occasions, right? And when sport, Floyd Mayweather spars, 
he likes to fight, right? Doghouse rules. He don't like to, it's not a boxes, uh, uh, boxing lesson like he uh, um, displays when, when the lights is on, right? He's just uh, trying to secure the victory and if the knockout presents itself, he's gonna take it. But for the most part, Floyd Mayweather, he is just trying to, you know, um, uh, get the victory. But in sparring, he got the doghouse rules. That's where it comes from, right? Uh, so, Errol Spence style though, right? It's a southpaw. Southpaws have uh, proven to give Floyd Mayweather the most problems in his career. We saw Zab Judah give him problems. Uh, um, we saw, um, you know, guys early in his career, uh, Chop Chop Corley give him problems. You know, hence the reason why Floyd Miller Sr. didn't want him to fight southpaws, especially early in his career, right? Uh, now he won all those fights, he's gonna find a way to win, but southpaws uh, is historically have given him trouble, right? Um, Chop Chop Corley caught him with big punches, Zab Judah caught him with big punches. Uh, um, you know, it's just, it's just awkward style for him to deal with, with his defensive style, right? But he eventually figures it out. So I have no doubt that Errol Spence was getting off on Floyd Miller, as Nate Jones stated that Errol Spence was getting off on Floyd Miller, right? Um, but when he said that he buckled him with an uppercut, right? Uh, uh, um, now, well, like I said, Nate Jones is a credible source in this, he's an important credible source in this scenario because we know Nate Jones was there. Now, <clears throat> do I believe Nate Jones that this happened? Uh, I'm hard pressed to believe that Floyd Miller uh, nearly knocked out and buckled uh, Errol Spence Jr. in the sparring session, but uh, Nate Jones is somebody who was there, right? So uh, only thing we could do with Nate Jones is take his word at, or, or at it, right? Just like uh, only thing I could do is take Errol Spence's word of, of it, right? And um, Errol Spence stated, uh, he responded, and he stated that, you know, there was plenty of people in the gym that witnessed this uh, sparring session uh, he stated that, you know, um, uh, Leonard Ellaby was there, uh, uh, plenty of other people. And he stated that, you know, um, at the end of the day, Nate Jones is capping, right? And uh, uh, so Nate Jones is, is, is you know, uh, I want to say he's Floyd Mayweather's biggest fan, right? Uh, he is... He, he came through with Floyd Mayweather, okay, through the, the amateurs, through the Olympics, things of that nature. They very, they're very, very uh, close friends. So Errol Spence had this to say. He said, quote, Jay Leon Love was there. Uh, Leonard Ellaby was there. Louis, uh, Louis Aries was there. He said, um, Boza Edwards was there. Uh, Situ Powell, countless other boxers and coaches was in the gym. Try not to, I try not to speak on sparring, but great work, uh, um, great experience, never buckled, he capping, LOL, right? So he's saying that, you know, uh, Nate Jones is capping, right? Um, again, uh, uh, only thing I could do is go off of what Errol Spence says and go off of what Nate Jones says, right? Because Errol Spence was the, the fighter in the ring, Nate Jones was in Floyd Mayweather's corner. So he's saying his speech, speaking his piece, just like, uh, uh, um, Nate Jones is speaking his piece. It's similar to the situation and scenario that you have with Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney, right? Javante Tank Davis said that he knocked out uh, uh, Devin Haney uh, uh, in sparring, right? Uh, Devin Haney said he ain't never knock him out. That uh, he, you know, he he whipped on Tank Davis, right? Uh, Bill Haney said that you know um, they won money in the second sparring session. And Devin Haney won the second sparring session. Adrian Broner said that uh, Devin Haney got rocked badly and he had to jump in the ring and, and, and you know, uh, uh, try to attempt to stop it because he thought Devin Haney could seriously get hurt, right? So again, you got one side saying one thing and another side saying a whole, a completely other thing. So you have Nate Jones saying one thing about this sparring session and you got Errol Spence on his side saying something completely different, right? Now. Uh, uh, I do know this Many people was made aware of Who Errol Spence was After word got around and circled That Errol Spence gave Floyd Mayweather All types of problems And blackened his eye And was kicked out the gym Right? It was reported that Floyd Mayweather Sr. Kicked Errol Spence out the gym Because uh, Floyd Mayweather was preparing for this fight With uh, uh, um, uh, Robert Guerrero I believe it was Okay? 
and uh, uh, they kicked Errol Spence out of the gym. And Floyd Miller called him back in. We do know we saw Floyd Miller with a, with a black eye, for sure. But this is sparring, this is what happens, period. <clears throat> so Errol Spence said that Nate Jones is all cap. He's just cap, period. So Errol Spence supposed to make his ring return in June. Let's see how it unfolds and plays out. There's talks that Floyd Mayweather actually wants to have a, another fight, a official fight that's going to count against his resume. He's doing exhibition bouts, but let's see if he actually has an official fight that's going to count against his resume. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.